was an unannounced visit that didn't go unnoticed. Emmanuel Macron was greeted with boos and calls to resign as he left the local government offices in Puy-en-Velay. The building was targeted by Yellow Vest protesters over the weekend, and the president was there to quietly assess the damage. But as with his visit near the Arc de Triomphe, he couldn't avoid the jeers of an angry crowd. It shows just how much has changed for Macron since last week, when he addressed the Yellow Vest crisis from the G20 summit in Argentina. It will be up to me to make new decisions in the coming weeks and months, but they won't be steps backwards. In the end, the decisions came after just several days, and they were a reversal, suspending scheduled tax hikes on fuel for the next six months. It's Emmanuel Macron's first major U-turn, and since then he's remained silent. It's his prime minister, Edouard Philippe, who has taken the spotlight, announcing the government's change of course and defending it before MPs, a role that has seen the prime minister's popularity plunge by 10 percent. Still, he remains more popular than the president himself. The latest opinion polls show Emmanuel Macron's approval rating at 23 percent tying for the first time the record low of his predecessor, François Hollande.